everybody, nutritionist Keith Klein here. Listen, um, today I want to talk to you about two different mindsets. And in psychology, they outline that most humans carry two separate mindsets. One is called the limited mindset, the other is called growth mindset. The objective that you want to have here is that you want to have as much of a growth mindset in as many areas of your life as you can. Um, but let's be clear. Some of us have a growth mindset in a couple areas of our life, and many of us have a limited mindset at the same time in other areas of our life. So for example, I might consider myself to be really good at finance, while at the same time, I don't feel like I have the skills or the capability of having solid, good relationships. And what you get out of life will be strongly determined by the mindset that you choose to carry. And that's the next point, is that we do have a choice. However, People in a limited mindset don't feel like they have a choice, and that's why they stay in it. Because they feel, I was born this way, this is just the way I am, accept me for who I am, right? And they don't feel like it's changeable. And I would contend that's not true. So uh, I'm gonna change the words uh, limited mindset and growth mindset to two other more recognizable words, which is the pessimistic mindset versus the optimistic mindset. So you see, that probably explains to you right there the difference between how we view our world determines how we feel about our world. So at the end of the day, having a mindset of growth means that you see the ability to create new things, to grow and move forward. The limited mindset has a tendency to keep people caught up in their issues and problems. For example, my weight is what it is, my family's overweight, therefore I can't do anything about my own weight, it just is what it is. And the growth mindset people, you know, move into the process that I can do this, I can change my behaviors, and I can lose the weight. And as you know, millions and millions of Americans over the years have lost and kept their weight off, and that's usually because they move from their limited mindset over to more of a growth mindset. Which, by the way, is what we're trying to do in Lean Body Coaching. What we're trying to do is make sure that every step of the way, we're showing you the growth mindset way of viewing food and labels and how you change versus the limited mindset. Now, one thing I've always hated about the dietetic community is how much time it spends telling everybody all the foods you cannot eat. And I've always felt like, let's spend more time telling people all the things they can eat. Because again, the difference is, in my approach, we're expressing the growth mindset. Look at all the things you can do. Versus the limited mindset, these are all the things you can't do. And I think there's a big difference. Now, not just for weight loss, but in every single area of your life, you have the opportunity to change the way you think, the way you respond, and the way you react to circumstances. I want to ask the question that I want you to think about is, in what area of your life do you carry the limited mindset? It's important to write that down and identify it, because there's also areas of your life I'd like you to write down in where's your growth mindset? What areas of your life do you express that in? What that's showing you right there is you have the ability to have a growth mindset because you're choosing to do it in these areas. However, if you've been locked up in the limited mindset in these other areas, such as for weight loss or relationships, realize it can be changed. Because you've shown to yourself you have a growth mindset in these areas, why wouldn't you want to transfer that skill over to these limited mindsets and change those? Remember, everyone has a choice. How we develop a limited mindset is as varied as how we develop a personality. You know, our parents play a big role in either encouraging us or discouraging us. I think what you'll see in people who've had bad parenting and a limited mindset emerges is that they constantly feel like they have to prove themselves. Uh, they constantly seek approval. And if they don't get it, once again, they feel less than or they feel they don't measure up uh, or they're not doing things right. Another way a limited mindset can emerge is let's say you're young, you're in a classroom, you're just getting started and you raise your hand to answer a question you think you know the answer to and it turns out you're wrong. And all of a sudden, that person feels less than, uh, they feel like um, they don't measure up and right there in that moment, a limited mindset can develop and what happens from there going forward is they may not raise their hand anymore because again, they don't wanna be called out as being inadequate or different. So what you see in the limited mindset is in that area of the person's life, they constantly seek approval. In the growth mindset, when they answer the question wrong, it's no big deal. You know, they just recognize that, okay, I've got to work harder on that subject matter. And it has really no impact on their self-esteem or sense of self-worth. So one area that you might look at in terms of weight loss is what areas of this 
in your life, weight loss, uh, healthy eating, um, regular exercising, are you limited in your thinking? You know, I can't lose weight, my parents were overweight, therefore I'm overweight, therefore I can't do anything about it, just has never been true. In 40 years of clinical practice, I meet all kinds of people and they've changed dynamically because they develop a growth mindset and really want to change. You also see in people who uh, lose weight and do it successfully the right way and develop a growth mindset, they're much more likely to keep it off because the limited mindset creates a pessimism later on, okay, I'll lose the weight and then what do I do then? You know, and so they don't have any place to go with it and they just revert back to old behaviors. So when you hang up with me today here, what I'd like to ask you is what areas of your life do you have the limited mindset? Write down what areas of your life do you have a growth mindset to identify those and recognize that if you have a growth mindset over here in these areas, you can most definitely develop a growth mindset in these areas as well because you can build confidence through trial and error and changing the thoughts that you use uh, as opposed to utilizing the negative pessimistic thoughts you've been using. There is no area of my life that I'm gonna accept mediocrity. I don't want a mediocre marriage, I don't want a mediocre job, I don't want mediocre money. Uh, so there's really no area of my life that I want to accept mediocrity. And what area of your life do you accept mediocrity? Or for a lot of us, it's been our weight. You know, we've chosen to accept lesser than in this area, and we don't have to. And that's what Lean Body Coaching is helping you to overcome, is we're trying to help you develop a better mindset about how to have a healthy relationship with food. You know, if you're in a bad relationship, you need to break it off. And of course, if you're in a bad relationship with food, it stands to reason that you need to break that off as well. And so moving forward, identify your limited mindset, identify your growth mindset, and reach out to your coach if you're having trouble figuring out what thoughts you need to use to move from limited to growth. Because trust me, there's always a solution to whatever problem you face. And sometimes it's extremely beneficial to reach out to people like our Facebook community who've been there, who've done that, who've changed the way they think because there's nothing wrong with taking that particular thought and making it your own. Um, at the end of the day, the limited mindset keeps you caught up in your issues and problems. The growth mindset allows you to move beyond it. All right, until next time, everybody, have a great day.